Yep. I got a, a Zilla figure. Yeah, so I got the Trendmaster Godzilla 1998. I call him Godzilla still, even though everyone else calls him Zilla, because technically he is Godzilla, just not a good version of Godzilla. But, um, yeah, the 98 version, Trendmaster, the big giant one, as you can tell, is about, what, like 17 inches, 16, 17 inches tall. Uh, I just saw him for really cheap. Uh, I had to glue on his tail and his arms because they were broken. So, but that's why he was so cheap. So he just needed some super glue, and he's pretty, pretty in, in good, bleh, in pretty good condition. Uh, he's supposed to make noise. There's a button on his back, but I don't have any batteries, so I can't do the noise feature. Sorry. But oh, you know what? I'm gonna say this. Um, for all you Zilla haters, uh, you know, I grew up with the 1998 movie. Uh, that's the movie that got me into Godzilla when I was a really little kid. My parents took me to go see it in the movie theaters, and ever since then, that's when I, you know, first saw a Godzilla movie, was this one. Yeah, this was my first Godzilla movie. And that's why, you know, I don't hate the 98 version. Um, it's not my favorite, but, you know, again, it's the one that I grew up with, so it has some sentimental stuff to me, I guess you can say, in in my heart. But, uh, it's pretty cheesy, but, um, everyone else, you know, hates it, but, whatever. I, uh, I don't hate it, but, it's not my favorite, but, yeah. It's not a terrible design. I mean, there's been worse, you know. I love how big he is. He's just so cool. He's heavy. Ugh. But, uh, oh, he's falling. But yeah, he's got, uh, his legs, you know, can move. You can move those. His tail is supposed to twist, but I had to glue it on so it, it can't move. And his arms, they're supposed to rotate, but I had to glue them because they wouldn't stay, so. He's got no articulation in his arms or his tail for me, but brand new, he his tail, arms, and legs do articulate. So, yeah. Ugh. Let's see. How's he supposed to go? I don't know. But yeah. You know, he was a good find. He was a cheap find. That's why I got him. Because he's, he was so cheap. Alright, so here's some size comparison for uh, with the Jack Specific Godzilla that, that I repainted. Um... Yeah, they're they're really they're very much in the same scale. He's just a little taller. He's shorter because he's just scrunched down a little bit. But yeah, that's kind of the only figure that's worthy of uh, size comparison, I guess. Yeah, so that's kind of all I have to say. Um, I'm not gonna do a review or anything. I just wanted to show you my new figure. It's a new one to the collection. For those of you who don't know, I'm collecting at least one. Um, I say one incarnation of Godzilla from throughout the years. I'm not going to buy a whole bunch of the same one. I just want one incarnation of each year. And now I have a 98 figure. If you're if you're a 98 Godzilla hater, uh, you know what? That that's cool. I don't blame you because a lot of people hate him, and you know he doesn't really. Look like a Godzilla that we all know, but <laughs> what can you do? He's not a bad figure. He is actually really cool. One, just his size, and two, he is very detailed. So, yeah. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Um, I got, let's see, I got a stop motion video on the way. So, uh, for those of you who keep asking, there is a stop motion video coming. So, and join me on Halo. I played with a few of my subscribers on Halo on Xbox Live on uh, Halo 5. So, yeah, join me. Username Tony Champagne. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I really hope you enjoyed, even though it's Zilla. But, yeah. Keep rocking.